YouTube, welcome back, and thanks for tuning in again. I hope you have a blast with Witchfire, just as I do. Man, this game got me good. Today I want to share a few more tips with you, which I found improved my game very much. While I died a lot at the beginning, the more I followed these tips, the better I got in the game. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Mushrooms. If you find yourself short on health, or if you don't want to spend one of the Scarth health potions, simply watch out for mushrooms. The devs took nature seriously and implemented mushrooms on their actual real toxicity. So you want to make sure you collect one of these three mushrooms to refill your HP at Let's least start a with bit. the bovis, which is big and round and has usually no black dots. So this is the toxic variant and you want to find the one without black dots. So. This is the variation you're looking for, and this is safe to consume. Let's continue with the mushrooms. The moral. About 20 cm large and quite common, especially in Asian cuisine. And here we got another example for a moral. Alright guys, so here we got a nice example for our common mushroom. Uh, this one doesn't have the black dots, so it's toxic. This one has the black dots and this tiny little ring which can actually move up and down in the nature and this one is safe to eat. Feathers and Arcana. Once you defeat a group of enemies, you will receive a crystal that lets you choose your Arcana. The choices you get depend on your research of Arcana, so make sure to research the Arcana from time to time to get better options. But here's where things get interesting. Once you get some feathers, which usually can be found in chests, you can re-roll your arcana. But what if you defeat the first group of enemies and don't have any feathers yet, and the arcana of your liking is not there? Well, simply don't choose any arcana at all. Wait until you find some feathers and then choose your arcana, simply from the menu at any time you want. Early game stat distribution. The more powerful stats in the game, are not so obvious, because health and stamina seem tempting due to the difficulty of the game. But actually, luck and metanoia are best. Even with just one point in luck, you will drastically see the amount of drops rise, especially in keys, which then help to unlock chests. Since unlocking chests can trigger the calamity event, more points in luck will lower the chances to do so, so I recommend putting at least 3 points in luck from the very beginning. Then put additional 3 points in metanoia to increase your leveling speed. And last but not least, don't make the same mistake as I did and put points into witchery early on. Well, you can then go ahead and increase vitality and stamina. Let's talk about the minimap. The minimap is your friend. This goes for almost every game and Witchfire is no exception. Sometimes enemies are difficult to see, but the minimap indicates where to find them. The game tells you that there is a chest nearby, the minimap will lead you there easily. Always have one eye on the minimap, your life will become much easier. And for the last tip of the video, let's talk about research. To upgrade your weapons and relics, you will need a so-called second inscription. And of course, a third inscription for the last upgrade. 
This is a consumable you will get from researching, so make sure you start the research early enough. The upgrades will boost your gameplay a lot and make a big difference. You don't want to miss out on them and get them as fast as possible. Generally, don't spend your gold on early research. You want to spend your gold on projects that are close to completion so that you can pick another research when you start your next run and don't waste time on the almost completed research. In order to gain research points, you will need to finish tasks in the world, such as opening chests or killing enemies or completing rituals. So let's have an example. We're at 9 research points and we're opening the chest. And you can see the progress increases by 1, so we completed one action in the world and gained a progress point. And that's how it goes with everything in the world. Everything you do will increase your research. So. Don't miss out on the research and finish as many tasks as possible to complete the research. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. I have videos upcoming on weapons, relics, spells and more gameplay tips for you. So please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and as always, have a good one.